Howdy, 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 my name is Anachi Sasuke, and welcome to Let's Read Paradox Space. I went over this in the update video yesterday, but I'm going to be making my way through this website. I almost said downtown, I really got to get past that. But, I'm going to start at the bottom and then get here. So, we're going to start with this comic, and maybe this one and this one. This one, this, uh, this episode is going to be a little bit shorter than probably the rest of the series will, due to the fact that I'm not 100% how quickly this is going to move. So, let's click on page one if you have a feeling it's going to be a long day and see where that goes from there. Whoever drew this, they did a really good job with the stuff on his wall. He has a nose! There's Nick Cage, probably from Con Air. Next page. <laughs> Blah. Pixel hair gel for that sharp alias to look. Shika, shika, shika. Oh, I didn't even realize this hair was messy. I'm used to it being pointy. Oh, here it is. Uh, written by Andrew Hussey, art by Zach Morrison. Good on you, Zach Morrison. It actually became pixely. Did he just step at a kit? Oh, no, 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 there goes Dad. Squelch! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen candles. Upset, really childish John about said candles. Hey, it's the cover to that one CD. Um, not CD. These didn't get physical CDs. Space! Paradox Space. Oh, hashtag Art Zach Morrison, hashtag Welcome to Paradox Space. Is it just going to go into the next comic? I I think it did just go into the next comic. Is that the next? Okay, it's just going to go then. All right. What a motherfucking turnout. Hope y'all, hope you're all hella stoked because it's time for first annual Juggalicious Talent Carnival. Which one of you is going to upturn this shit like a python and win a shitload of pointy, pointy ass glam badges? Oh, oh, it's just, it's just heads. How did I not realize it was just heads? I guess I just thought it was going to be happier than that because of what's going on. I bet you all been, I don't, I also don't remember what voice I was doing for Gamzee because he hasn't actually spoken, like, real spoken in a, about a year or so. I bet y'all been baking these routines like choice ass pie, you can't wait to bust out on a culinary ninja, so let's get this shit rolling! Look at all these hashtags. Act 1! Taming the wicked ass purbies! Shit! Act 2! Bullshit magic show! Act 3! Dangle slug juggling? Hell no! Shit, these are so bad, my think pattern hurts. Tavros, man, you better be fucking ready to impress. <gasps> Motherfucking gasp! What's Tavros doing? Act 4, colorful art show! Oh, ch uh, check this shit out, bro, Tav. Holy shit, this is, this is tripping me out more than that time I ate a fucking juggle pin by mistake. Just, damn. What? <laughs> How do you accidentally eat a juggle pin? This blatant smut scribble is only going to get you one thing, Tav. Every fucking glitter biscuit! The rest of y'all get jack shit. All that shit was just wicked disgraceful. And that's why you get fucking subjugulated! Man, let's go out. Let's go make out you fucking art champ shit. 2014. It has been it has been four years since this website started, and I have not actually read this comic yet. I read the first one, and that was it. Damn. What's this one? John's birthday. Happy birthday, John! Dave, man, I swear I saw the monkeys over there holding knives and shivving another smaller monkey. Monkeys? Knives? You're getting too random, kid. Monkeys are played out, son. You would have had me with bears with guns or seals or grenades, maybe, but you went with the least random thing in the book. You went with random 101, something that is so infused with the idea of being random that it, it, it itself is no longer random. You divide it by zero and guess what it was? Monkeys. It was monkeys, John. You don't get a birthday pass for this. This goes on your personal record, buddy. Jerk. Holy shit. Shh. 
Okay, so the monkey did just, like, shiv the other monkey. All right. Let's see. Art by Casey... Uh, and story by Casey Green. Okay. Prototyped by Zach Morrison. There's that John with a nose again. Never gonna get past that. You capture log two, fanciful harlequins. It's interesting to see the, the capture log cards just out there while that happens. Also, I just realized that um one of them is uh, 420 blaze it and the other one is butts. So that's pretty great. Cut slice! Maybe I have read this one. I kind of remember that cut slice picture. Unless I only remember it because there was like no anything happening after this one for a while. Three fanciful harlequins! But you! Oh, my bad. Pwing is the sound. It's a good thing none of your actions here will have serious long-term consequences. Several serious long-term consequences later. Prototyped! You created an unbeatable boss! You let Jack get the Queen's ring, and with it, the trace of everything you prototyped! Is that Wrinkle Fucker? I think that's Wrinkle Fucker. Including the the Jade Girl's all-powerful freak of Alessis, now you're all gonna die! <laughs> Wait, hang on. This is a Doom timeline, isn't it? Yep. Wanna go watch a movie? <laughs> As Rose just flies away. This just makes this just made me remember that I never did get one of the vinyls of uh, any of the what are these the, the beta kids? I guess. A fun day with Beck. How many pages is this? Two. Stick. But oh, he got a stick and then he stole a ball from a baseball game. Then he stole somebody's frisbee from a beach and then he stole someone's paddle from a boat. They stole somebody's football from probably the Super Bowl. Oh, hey, boy! You gonna spend another day in bed? You're such a lazy dog. Sure he is. And that was by Rachel Rocklin and Matt Cummings. Okay, this one is six pages. Dual Scar! Mind Fang! Fire Clutch Rose Board Enemy Vessel! You wouldn't dare! Come on, Lucky 20! Success! Fine! I cross your ropes before you can. Good, good luck with that. Fuck! Ha <laughs> ha! Critical whale. No, rolling a one on this maneuver summons a critical whale. What? Also, this is by Benito Sereno and art by Kristen Kemper. Is it actually going <laughs> to... You didn't do very well on that roll. I know, shut up. Whatever. I fire my rifle at your bow. Your hair looks stupid. Fucking shut up, whale! I fire all cannons at your port bow. Critical hit! I don't just sink your boat, I sink the whole thing, plus it's on fire, and you trip and smash your bone bolt on a rock that wasn't there before. You filthy cerulean cheat! Me? A cheat? Yes! I know you used loaded dice, plus I'm not, even, I'm not sure about that attack even. I don't remember having, you having cannons before. Get real, dual scar. You're always such a wiggler when you lose, which is always... How dare you talk to me like that! I dare because the dice never lie, and they say you owe me spoils. Send over all your treasure. And all your slaves. What?! No way! No fucking way! These are the terms of the game, Aridin. You lost the roll, now give up those slaves! Do you, know, do you have any idea how hard it is to find low bloods willing to stop stroking their shame gloves long enough to pretend to be slaves? Plus, these are these ones are really good sports about the whole thing! I know you just want to feed them to your lusses. If you do that, I have to talk more low bloods into playing these roles. And that is so flippin' boring! Listen here, you semi-aquatic piece of shit! What I do with my slaves is my business! Hand them over, or you'll wish you'd never been hatched! Oh, I get it. 
I will trade you the, the slaves for one of your darkest, most turbulent, grimace of shade, pitches of black, outright flippin' Stygian hate snogs. <gasps> you fucking fuck! Reject! Roll. Oh shit. Soon thereafter, she doesn't want to kiss you because you're a desperate and unpleasant person. I know, man. I know. Thanks, Critical Whale. It never occurred to me that they were just actually on boats doing this shit. Who built these boats if they have no parents and there's just them? Okay, I think this is this is this will probably be a good time, to, a good stopping point for this episode. Because, like I said, it's going to be a shorter one, and since the length of the comics are all over the place, hey, look, it's ads for those vitals I was just talking about that I want to get someday. And this one's nine pages, so that's probably going to be a good stopping point for this. I, I apologize for how short it is, but like I said, since I wasn't really 100% sure how I was going to handle this anyway. And look, there's over here, there's one that's one page. Really proves my point. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to the Teen Con Air Finals. I don't know who's, who's saying this. Con Fair by David McGuire. I can't believe I'm about to compete in the Teen Con Air Finals! Just picture it, Car Cat! Teens from all over the- from all over competing for best portrayal of the final scene of Con Air. I don't have to imagine it, John! We've seen the same god-awful scene 50 god-awful times today! This has been the worst god-awful day of my worst god-awful life! Stop exaggerating, Kit Kat, it's only been 49 times! Yeah, don't be a grub, this has been hilarious! If it's that god-awful, I appreciate you coming out to support us. No one told me it was optional! Define irony, shove! A bunch of idiots who don't have a chance against me! Who is she even supposed to be in that scene? The daughter? Who was Caliborn supposed to be? That was not ironic at all, Friska! Relax, Car Cat! Her act may be technically accurate, but Roxy and I got what really counts. True love for Con Air. I've never actually seen Con Air, I heard it was kinda bad. <gasps> oh, I see. What were you planning on doing for the act? I figured I'd just wing it. Wow, that's a great plan. We did we did that when you were a ghost clone baby and it turned out fantastic. Totes. Meanwhile, lizard salamander, my bed. You're on, kids. Oh, dude. That's who's the name. Alright. Break your legs, guy. Break all of them. How do I... Hey, Nick Cage! I'm over here! Hello, hummingbird. What's up? Oh, I can just click the picture. I meant to get a haircut. I'll cut your hair with my teeth! Well, that was supposed to sound sexy, but now I hear it out loud. It's really stupid. Suppose. I got a present for you, Casey. I got a picture of you, too. Oh, I forgot to mention it's a little dirty. Okay! <laughs> Nailed it! So how we do? <laughs> you got that telecaster twang. <laughs> it was crap! Oh my god, I bet that means we won best comedy performance! Did you see anyone laughing, Roxy? Oh. This art style is adorable. Bring it back. The mayor is the one doing this? And now, as I understand it, the Con Air Finals needs a warning. The grand prize being the illustrious House Cup and the soundtrack CD autographed by screenwriter Scott Rosenberg goes to the most technically accurate proposal, portrayal, the evil team! I guess Frisco was right. We were just a bunch of idiots dancing on a plane. However, it seems the judge, in an extremely unconventional Dumbledore-esque move, has some last-minute points to award. For pure, innocent love of Con Air, and for possessing most, and for possessing of the most heart. Six billion points to the stupid team. That's us. No, go team friendship. Okay, so that was ridiculous and a good stopping point. So this has been Anashi Sasuke. This was episode one of Let's Read Paradox Space. In the next episode, it's Deadline Day, which may or may not be a Jack Noir story, is it? Yeah, it is. So, if y'all liked it, a like and a subscribe will be groovy. If you didn't, you don't need to do either one of those things. And I will see y'all in the next one. Later.